Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through number system. In the last session, we have seen what is a rational number and what is an irrational number. A rational number is a number which can be expressed in the form p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero. While an irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed in the form p by q for any integers p and q and q is not equal to zero. Now students, how can we find the decimal form of a rational number? Yes, that is possible by dividing the numerator by the denominator. Let's see some examples. Consider 7 divided by 8. We get 7 by 8 equals 0 0.875. In this example, we can see that the digits after the decimal point comes to an end. This type of decimal is called a terminating decimal. A terminating decimal is a rational number. Now consider another example. 10 divided by 3. In this example, the digits after the decimal point are not coming to an end. That is, the digits after the decimal point are not terminating. That is, it goes on indefinitely. At the same time, the digit 3 is repeating. That is represented as 3.3 bar. This type of decimal is called non-terminating repeating decimal. This type of decimal can be written in the form of p by q. Hence, non-terminating repeating decimal is a rational number. Let's see, how can we convert a non-terminating repeating decimal number to p by q form? Express 12.353535 etc. in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero. Let p by q equals 12.353535 etc. This is equation 1. Look at the digits after the decimal point. How many digits after the decimal point are repeated? Yes, two digits are repeating. Which are the digits? 3 and 5. Since two digits are repeating, multiply by 100. That is, equation 1, multiplied by 100 implies that 100 p by q equals 1235.353535, etc. Mark it as equation 2. Similarly, if one digit is repeating, multiply by 10. If three digits are repeating, multiply by 1000, and so on. Can you say why we multiply equation 1 by 100? When we multiply equation 1 by 100, see in equations 1 and 2, the digits after the decimal point are the same. So, if we subtract equation 1 from 2, all digits after the decimal point get cancelled. That is, equation 2 minus 1 implies that 100p by q minus p by q equals 1235.353535 etc. minus 
12.353535, etc. That is, 99p by q equals 1235 minus 12. That is, 99p by q equals 1223. Therefore, p by q equals 1223 by 99, which is a rational number. Hence, any non-terminating repeating decimal can be written in p by q form. Therefore, it is a rational number. Now, let's see, what is the decimal form of root 2? We can find the value of root 2 by long division method. We have discussed long division method for finding square root in class 8. For detailed information, do watch the video by clicking on the pop-up or link in the description box. By using long division method, we get root 2 equals 1.4142135.62 etc. Look at this decimal number, 1.4142135.62 etc. The digits, after the decimal point, are not terminating and non-repeating. Hence, root 2 equal 1.4142135.62 etc is a non-terminating non-repeating decimal. This type of non-terminating non-repeating decimal is called an irrational number. Therefore, root 2 is an irrational number. Some other irrational numbers are root 3 equals 1.73205, etc. Pi equals 3.14159, etc. Consider root 3. Here, the digits after the decimal point are non terminating and non repeating. Now, take pi. Here also, the digits after the decimal point are non terminating and non repeating. Though pi is an irrational number, for the easiness of calculation, it is often approximated to 22 by 7 or 3.14. Let's have a quick recap. Real numbers are classified as rational numbers and irrational numbers. The decimal form of rational numbers are of two types terminating decimals and non-terminating repeating decimals. Irrational numbers are always non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Classify the following as rationals and irrationals. First, root 25, Second, 8.7654, etc. Third, 25.8282, etc. Fourth, 10.56. And last, zero. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.